Welcome to Sports Betting Podcast from pregame.com for the week of January 7th, 2010. I'm your host, RJ Bell. I'm joined by Marco D'Angelo, 30 years in the business, Vegas runner, genuine professional better here in Vegas, star of the CNBC gambling uh, TV show. This is segment four of five, big game preview, Green Bay Packers at Arizona. Vegas runner, tell us about the line in this game. Extremely uh, interesting line move, so bear with me. The game opened up Arizona as a two and a half point home favorite with a total of 48 and a half. Within 30 minutes, it went to three, okay? And that's where it stayed. Two days later, with word of Cromarty questionable, who leads the team in interceptions, Bolden questionable, right away that line dropped to one and a half, and that's where it stayed now. So we're looking at Arizona as a one and a half point favorite, and the total dropped from 48 and a half down to 47. Now we're taping on Wednesday. What's the, what's the sense injury-wise <laughs> on those two? I, questionable. Uh, Bolden, they're saying, should be able to play. Cromarty, they haven't released yet. Typically questionable, and again, different teams do this a little differently. Questionable plays, if I'm not mistaken, 75% yeah, of the time. Yeah, yeah. Right. But then you got to ask yourself, if, a t- if an injured player is, is hindered, unless they're one of the best players in the league, they're only going to be you know, 10% better or whatever than their second string guy. If they're 10% worse because of the injury, what's the difference? And, and, and this is your, you know, one of your stars on offense and one of your stars on defense. So I think that's why they, they grabbed the three. But I also think it was to get ahead of the market because I think the books are going to need Arizona come Sunday. This Green Bay team's playing so well right now. Yeah, but you could see the, them getting ahead of the market, betting off the three. Right. But at two and a half, they're no. not, the, you know, yeah, that, that the point, move to one a, and a half, I think that's, that's the, legitimate. Yeah, exactly. Because wh- where's the middle going to be there? Exactly. All right, Marco, is a hand. Now, we actually don't have a free pick on this. We've already given our three official free picks on the prior videos, which you can check out at pregame.tv. But. We can talk leans, we can talk handicapping concepts. What jumps out of you on this game? Let's talk giving away your money. Yeah, we, and then before <laughs> the end, we're gonna give away a $10 coupon, because when we don't have a free pick, we give away a coupon. But let's get some facts out there first. Well, first of all, my, I have one question, and you guys can answer it, try to answer it. Why did Green Bay keep their foot on the gas the whole game last week? I'm- I'm going to tell you why, because they wanted to keep this momentum. This te- uh, uh, that's, that's the explanation. I dug into this because they irritated the Arizona side, and Green Bay had to think a little ahead because it's not like you beat them soundly and then they come to your place. Green Bay has to go back there again, so they know it's going to be even more hostility because of what they did. But the reasoning was this team's in such a rhythm, they've won seven of their last eight with the only loss to Pittsburgh by one point, and you remember how that game happened, that he did not want to wreck anything, any of their momentum. So the reason he came out in the second half with the foot on the gas was so they play that way throughout the end of the season and into the playoffs. That's the excuse. Yeah, I mean, you, you hit the point. This team's really a one miracle play away from an eight-game winning streak. They're, they're playing well. I have a thing here, and you've heard me use this handicapping theory many times during the course of the season I'm pulling out the teaser handicap in this game there's going to be so many teasers with Green Bay in them oh yeah up over a touchdown that's going to be the biggest play teaser and if you look at all the games on the weekend and I always try to do when you have games that are similar lines and so forth right what games are they going to tie up which ones look the easiest with the lines in it and there to me there is no question the easiest dog on the card this week is the Green Bay Packers. Of the four on, games, on a teaser dog? Or? On period, just period dog wise. And now you tease them and get an well, extra seven. Re- well, that's the thing. Well, first of all, most people tease six points. Second of all, I mean, that's the standard two team minus 110. The seven point teaser, they're, they're charging premium juice, so it's not as, as smart of a bet, a bet. That's why the six point basic strategy tease goes through three and through seven, right. and you can do that from upwards of two and a half to one and a half. When it goes to one, you can't get through seven anymore. And on the other side, you've got seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. When it gets to nine, you can't get through three coming down. So my question is this though, is they might be the best underdog because they're barely an underdog. It's a pick, you know, borderline pick em game. Where in the other cases you've got, well, you know, I guess with the Jets, you've got two and a half, but then you've got three, uh, et cetera. So I, and I guess my question is if the line opens up a three 
or so, you know, it was like you said, two and a half, went up to three, is clearly you can tease up to nine at that point. The fact that it's moved two points in this direction towards the Green Bay side, it, you're still able to get through seven, but does that make it any more appealing than it was at three? And going like, like, why is this more appealing than Baltimore getting nine and a half or nine, nine and a half? Because in the Baltimore game and in the Jet game, I think people believe that they could get blown out. And they are, they are a legitimate dog. Where in this game, I wouldn't be surprised if Green Bay went off minus one. Would anyone be shocked if Green Bay became no, the favorite in this game? Which would be ironic game? because if you remember twice during the season, there were games in which I used Green Bay as free picks on, on the show in both of them where they started the game out as a favorite and ended up being a dog right. at home when Green Bay wasn't getting the respect. Now they're the darling. I yeah, mean, they, Green, they, they covered 11 games this year. This right, well, so we got three minutes or so left. Is all right, Let's say you're right that that's the most attractive tease. What does that mean to you? To me, I'm the, if I look at this game... I'm going to lean to Arizona in this game because Green Bay does look too easy to me the way they're playing. They've on only a tease been a, or a, uh, straight bet, straight bet. Because if they look that good on a tease, that's that sets up me for the straight bet because I know people are going to fall in love with Green Bay. It, so you're saying then to keep with the continuation of the concepts that we've been laying out on today's podcast is you're saying the fair line, the line that splits the action, is actually Green Bay as a favorite? No. We're saying uh, the fair line, anything here that has Green Bay getting points, points. is is, is going to split the action. It's I think it's going to bring the action in into That's Green what Bay. I'm saying is if you want it, you're saying it looks really appealing to play Green Bay at plus one and a half or something, which means you think if you move the line, let's say, to Green Bay minus one, that would split the action. Yeah, I, I don't like making them a favorite. I think that the public... But if, if, they're really not, if, they're not gonna be, if they're not going to be a favor, then getting one can't look that appealing. It can't, but you could put the game at pick em. See, I and, thought and that let the public make a, my, make a decision. I, I, I'll tell you the truth. I did make Green Bay a one-point favorite. I thought out of all the, the wild card games that this would be the only home dog. And we, we get that once in a while, home dog in the wild card round. And I thought they were going to do that because uh, as an ex-bookmaker, I could tell you right now, all the money's going to be on Green Bay Sunday. Not saying that they're not going if to cover. If all the money's going to be on Green Bay, why did it open up a three? I don't. I, that's what I can't understand. That that that's the, what. So you you're saying so. The, so that lends it into if you think that the game should be picked to split the action, and they open up a three. There's either a huge power ranking disagreement going on here. Or they've been begging. They want Green Bay money. Yeah, but that, that's what doesn't make sense. Right? That's how I look at it. They it want... just don't make sense because Arizona is 4-4 four and four at home. So they haven't been – no reason that this team, you know, you say they're a home team, give them extra three seconds. points. I just – this line doesn't make sense to me. The value looks like it's on Green Bay right now. But, which, which might make you leery, thinking the book wants Green Bay, maybe like Arizona. Exactly, and that's why a little more handicap. Complicated game. Yeah. All right, you got 45 seconds, Mario. Give away $10. All right, it's Wild Card Weekend, so we're going to make the coupon Wild Card, all one word, 10. Wild Card in the number 10. All one word, the 10 included, one word. Right, and you're using the number 10, and that'll get you $10 off. Just go to pregamepros.com. Make your selection, put your selections in your shopping cart, and then just enter that coupon code, and you'll get $10 off. And yes, if it's only $10, $10 off, they get it free. Free. That's great stuff. All right, so good stuff here. No official free pick on this one. $10 coupon. I think this is the kind of game that the conversation at pregameforms.com talking about these line moves. This is a sophisticated game, and I'm going to be interested to see how the line moves when we get to game day when it's a majority of the, yeah, the public and This action. is the kind of game you take a big position on because when you do finally figure it out, I think you're going to end up with a lot of value. All right, good stuff. Okay, this was our fourth of fifth segment. In our fifth segment, we got a special behind the scenes at pregame.com story about Marco. And remember, you can get all of our videos at pregame.tv, or if you want to download and listen, just go to iTunes and search for pregame.com.